Hello and welcome to The Insider, a show designed to clue you into the biggest news, events and announcements inside the video games industry. Discussing with you some things you may know, some things you may not, and glue holds it all together is a little bit of my own opinion. My name is Paul James, thank you very much for watching, and let's get for the episode. So we've got a different episode in store for you this week. We're talking about the Player 2 Marathon. Every year comes along and every year it's a great success. Well now, it's only a day away, and in this week's episode of The Insider, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what the marathon is, what we're looking to achieve, what's going to be happening, and how you can support it. So let's get into it. So the marathon itself, beginning at 10 a.m. on Saturday, and running till 10 a.m. on Sunday, we've got 24 hours, 24 games, wall-to-wall, uninterrupted gameplay from a whole bunch of different games. We're going to talk more about that later, but it's all in support of the Terry Campisi Foundation. Now, the foundation itself provides support, in this particular case, to small New South Wales, southern New South Wales hospitals, giving a little bit of extra support. We're looking to donate a whole bunch of gaming peripherals and equipment in order to give the kids something to do when they're stuck in the hospitals great cause we've already raised well over a thousand dollars we're more than a quarter of the way towards our 4k goal and the marathon hasn't even begun yet so look to get on board on that but we'll talk more about those details shortly as well what will we be playing well there's a whole host of awesome games they're going to be mostly played on site we're also going to get a few stints from myself and others who will be playing remotely, joining in the fun and games. We're going to be seeing the likes of Borderlands, Remnant from the Ashes, Gears of War 5, or Gears 5, uh, Doom from 2016. We're going to be seeing Plants vs. Zombies, Battle for Neighborville, and 19 more games because, again, there's 24 of them. There's 24 awesome, unique, really fun games that are going to be played one-hour chunks over the course of the 24 hours. Plus some opportunities for some viewer votes as well. We'll talk more about that during the marathon when that opportunity arises. Of course, you are also rewarded for your donations. So as much as we are looking to raise, as we said, more than $4,000 for these hospitals, we've also received a whole bunch of support ourselves from various publishers and PR teams scattered throughout Australia. And what that has resulted in is a ton of free games that we've been sent that we will then donate to you and reward you and thank you with for making your donations. So if you pledge more than $5 to the cause, and the link will be down here in the comment section and in the description, so go and check all that out. If you donate more than $5 to the cause, you'll instantly go into the draw there to win one of the dozens of games that have been made available to us. The majority of people will likely win something that bodes really well for you. The odds are really quite high. Xbox, PS4, Switch, PC, it's all there. So look forward to it, pledge your support. You'll be rewarded as well, most likely. The Play 2 Marathon is a great cause and Matt has been doing a fantastic job running it over the course of the last four years. And this year will be no exception, I have no doubt but it is built on your support and your engagement. So please go catch out, uh, go catch the marathon beginning tomorrow, 10 a.m., twitch.tv slash player2au. Pledge your support again for the website. Those details are down in the description below. And really get behind the marathon. Share it, spread the word, get other people to donate. You'll be rewarded for it. There's awesome games being played. It's a great atmosphere. There's lots of awesome people on the stream. Those of us who can't make it, like myself, will be joining in for some multiplayer games at different points as well. So we're all a part of it here. You, me, the fans, everyone, we're all a part of it. So please lend your support. We really appreciate it. Again, you're doing a great thing. That concludes this week's episode of The Insider. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing all those buttons are down the bottom and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live on the channel. That includes Patched, the Insider, Player 2 Plays, Late Game Review, Gaming School, and a whole lot more. There's some awesome stuff there, so please be sure to go and check it out. Visit the website, player2.net.au, where you'll find reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, the Player 2 Writer's Draft, links to our podcast series, Patched, Dev Diary, and the Player 2 Pixelcast. 
They're all there. They're all awesome. Give them a five-star review on your podcast service of choice. We'd really appreciate that support. Visit the website, um, patreon.com slash player2au, where you can kick in a few bucks. At the lower tiers, you'll get early access to episodes. At the higher tiers, you'll get monthly episode exclusives. You'll also help that player2 dream to grow, and we'd really appreciate that. Finally, there's Twitter. You'll find me at Paul James Games. The website you'll find at Player2AU. And until tomorrow when the marathon kicks off, I'll pop my nose in different points online, join in the fun, give us a lot of support, help the charity raise as much money as possible. And until then, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.